Are you fine? I hope you are fine. Yes, uh, this is uh, part four of sentence errors. Before I'm going to start this lesson, let me say something about comments that you gave me before. The lesson that uh, you gave me is really interesting. So I try to just complete all the sentence errors because it's important, especially for university students, especially for uh, advanced writing skill, sophomore English. So it helps us very much. So we, we, we just uh, please continue until the end of sentence errors. Thank you very much for giving your comments. The other important part is uh, uh, just I'm going to start a uh, next lesson special for using literature. How can audiences can, can learn English? Short story, songs, and uh, proverbs and readers. What are the contributions of this literature in improving English language? I will do in the right time with in the right place. Wait, please. Let's come back to today's lesson, Faulty Parallelism, part four of sentence errors. So I directly just, what is parallelism means? Parallelism, parallelism by itself means two, a sentence which have a sentence which has equal ideas before the conjunction has the same idea with after the conjunction. This shows parallel. Parallel means this is equal idea, similar ideas in both cases, which is parallelism. Parallelism means when we do, we add faulty, it just, which is the negative of parallelism. Faulty means wrong parallel, it means, right? Two words or two phrases or two nouns or two, two clauses or two adjective phrases are not parallel. They are different, so it makes the sentence wrong. If the first part of the sentence is simple past, the second should be simple past. If the first is simple present, the second is simple present. parallelism. Look here, if the first is present, if the second is simple past, this is faulty parallelism. So this is the definition of what parallelism mean. Yes, uh, equal ideas in words, yeah. Look the activity. In each sentence below, underline the parallel structures. Let me give you some examples how the two words, uh, phrases are parallel. I work to school and then to work. I work to school. So there is a conjunction between and then to work and I work to school. These two ideas can be joined with correlative conjunction and. So the structure of the sentence should be similar. I work to school, to school, and the same structure should be that to work it means, all right? A person can do these two different tactics at the same time. I work to school, why I work to school? To learn. To school and to learn how parallelism it means. If I write like this, I work to school and then work, which is faulty parallelism, which is faulty parallelism. I work to school and then work means faulty, because the second word cannot be expressed with in the, in the same way with the first word. But here, this shows parallelism. A teacher, a teacher who gives tests and who helps students is wonderful indeed. Let me read the sentence again. A teacher who gives tests and who helps students is wonderful teacher. So what I want to see is how can we make this sentence parallel? So first you identify the conjunction. One, the base important thing that you should correct the sentence to make parallel is what is the conjunction between the sentence here? The conjunction is N here. What words, what adjectives, what clauses are after and before the conjunction? That's the first technique. Unless you identify the techniques, it's quite difficult to understand how well the, the fault parallelism happens with me. So what kind of problem does the sentence have? So here, a teacher who gives, who gives, which is simple present, and the second should be written in the form of the first one, who gives and who helps, helps and gives, which is simple present. This shows parallelism. This shows parallelism. If I write like this, a teacher who gives a test and who helps, if I say like this, this is faulty parallelism because the second cannot be expressed with in the first form. This is faulty parallelism. So here, gives and helps are uh, the underlying words which shows parallelism. Which shows parallelism. Second example here. 
In her career, she has been a researcher, an expertise, and a counselor. I'm talking about she. There are some words which describe about her quality or her qualification. That word should, should, should signify about the person. Isn't it? Look here. She has been a researcher. One. Who is a researcher? She. She is a researcher. She has been an expertise. Who, who is an expertise? She herself is an expertise. And a counselor. Who is a counselor? She herself is also a counselor. So the underlying parallelism is researcher, expertise, and counselor is parallelism. Parallelism because all the three words signify about her qualification, her quality about she. Right. If I write like this, look here. In her career, she has been a researcher, an expertise, and counseling others. If I write like this, counseling others. This mark is the sentence faulty parallelism because counselor cannot be expressed in the form of the personal pronoun which is uh, expertise and a researcher. So I want to just change the sentence in the wrong way faulty parallelism. So to make it here, I can find out the correct word what is signify about she, her quality, a researcher, and expertise. So uh, counseling can be changed into counselor. Who is a counselor? She's a counselor with me. So the three words is parallelism. Parallelism. The third example after the accident, she sobbed, whimpered, and collapsed after the accident. I'm talking about she herself. She what? Uh, what happened after the accident? She, she what? Sobbed, one. And then what? Whimpered, second. And the one collapsed, the third one. If I write one of those three words in different ways, this is faulty parallelism. Like this here. After the accident, she sobbed, whimpering, and collapsing. Wrong sentence, meaningless sentence. So this is an example of sentence error. What kind of sentence error? Faulty parallelism. How do we know? Because the three words cannot have, do not have similar forms. So it makes the sentence faulty parallelism. So to identify the first sentence error, and then I can just carry this in the same way. So the three words show about parallelism. Can sucked, whipped, and collapse it. Right. And this fourth one. We try to joke daily and to hike on weeks. To joke and to joke daily and to hike on. To joke. What we try? We subject and try verb to joke here. An infinitive phrase and to hike on weekends, an infinitive phrase. So to joke and to hike is parallelism. They show parallelism. If maybe the second two is missed, it doesn't show parallelism. It is called faulty parallelism. So to joke and to hike, weekends is correct parallelism. The fifth example. My sister likes to stalk, to swim, and to dance. Absolutely, yeah. These three activities are my sister. My, my sister likes these three activities. Yeah? To joke is one, to swim is another, and to dance is another. The three words are the same. They followed with an infinitive word. Absolutely. This word does make parallelism. If I just missed to dance, only write to dance, faulty parallelism. So we cannot write this in this look. My sister likes to joke, one. To swim and dance, faulty parallelism. Because this, that, that word cannot be written as in the, in the form of to joke and to swim. So I can correct this, the last word, in the, in the form of to joke and to swim. So this is, way, this is the way how we can just find out or underline or summary of identify or identify sentence parallelism. The sixth example. Her hobbies include refinishing furniture. Repairing clubs and constructing for our displays. Absolutely right. Her hobbies include, I'm talking about her hobbies. What are her hobbies? Yeah, one is refinishing furniture, one. And the other, repairing clothes, another. And the other one, constructing for our. These three phrases show about parallelism. So you simply identify what is the conjunction between the sentence, what kind of form the sentence, the sentence has, and then how can we correct this sentence, or how can we create 
How can we carry this sentence to give equal idea the second strategy? After analyzing on this way, you are going to just carry it right or meaningful sentences. Yeah, these are some of the questions. Questions on faulty parallelism. Correct the following sentences. This sentence show faulty parallelism. They, not, they do not give complete meaning. So you are going to just make correct, which is a kind of faulty parallelism. So find us, as I told you before, please, Find the conjunction, and no, if, if sometimes if some sentence may not have a conjunction, you have to dig out or read out or identify or read in detail about what are the two different words and phrases that have different forms, and then how can we make we correct them? This is a strategy that you should have keep in your mind. After that, it's possible to correct that in meaningful way. One. Let me give you one example here. I enjoy reading magazines rather than to clean my room. Yes, I enjoy reading magazines. Yes, I enjoy I enjoy this. This is the focus area as means. I enjoy I enjoy what? Reading magazines. Yeah, reading. Reading. I enjoy which is general. Reading what? Magazines. Rather than rather than two. One is the problem is here inserting of or using of that two, which makes the sentence wrong. And what was what is the focus of the, the word after the infinitive to here clean so it, no 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 adding of the suffix energy so does that make the idea wrong so it must be written as we cancel the an infinitive to and write cleaning here look I enjoy reading magazines rather than cleaning my room is absolutely the right parallelism the right parallelism so you can just correct. The latest examples, the latest sentence on this way. The answers are on the next page, on the next slide, and you are going to just do by yourself first, practice by you, yourself first, and check the answer. And the next slide. These are what is uh, called sentence errors. Sentence errors. Another question is here. My teacher prefers teaching using an audio to dictate orally. Number five, what, what, what can, is there any conjunction here? No conjunction, but there is a word prefer here. Prefers teaching using an audio to what? To, there are two things this. Well, that's your preference, it means so. Dictate orally a teaching using an audio, so there is a problem. So you can just convert either this in the first case or the first case into in the, the second case, also possible. So, correct, the following, this question is that, that, that I gave you examples before. These are the false ways of sentence error, which is faulty parallelism, which means equal ideas after the conjunction and before the conjunction. So both the forms are the same. This is parallelism. Thank you for watching this lesson.